on the subject of waste and urban blight. You get these in the mail for credit card companies. It's pre-approved, right? So they say, oh, look what you could get and all this. And what if I say no? That means that this whole package and all that paper is a total waste. They could have sent me an email which uses no paper and asked me, do you think you'd be interested in this? But instead, they send this big bulky folder with everything in it, right? And, oh, you don't even need this. Hey, how convenient. You don't even need a stamp. Okay, a stamp might cost a dollar, I guess. How much does all this paper and the functions and processes, processes to fill it out and print it and all that? Look at all this waste. That's all waste. I don't, I'm not going to do it. You see, I'm going to, I'm not going to sign up for it. So all of this that they sent me is a complete waste. It's, it's all meaningless because I'm not going to use it. And then I'm going to throw it into the trash, which anybody else would recycle it. I'm not doing that anymore. Recycling is a dead issue. It's a, it's a system that does not work clearly. Plastic, paper, whatever it is. Well, you know what? Paper I do want to recycle. But the system itself is so broken that I can't guarantee that when I put all this into a recycling bin, so to speak, that it's going to actually go to the place that recycles it. I don't know what happens after I've done my bit of duty. You see, I can take this and I can put it into a bin and I can make sure it gets to the right receptacle. But after that, it's beyond my control. And we've seen that recycling is a, is a broken system. It doesn't work. So when you recycle something, you're assuming that it's going to go to the right place. And my address is on this. So if I took it and just threw it in the mail, somebody else could just open it and see my address and say, oh, that's pre-approved. I'll just pretend to be them and take their identity. So the companies that are doing this, I think, really need to start second guessing themselves because this is a complete waste. I'm not going to use this. See, I'm not going to fill it out. I'm not interested in it. So everything that they sent me is a complete waste. How much did that cost to send to me? How much did it cost to print out these these booklets, it's on shiny stock. It's heavy, shiny stock. So is this out? Well, kind of heavy, but shiny, shiny stock costs more. So let's assume that this packet costs a dollar twenty-five to send me. Okay, but I'm not going to use it, and it's going to go into the broken system of recycling, which might not even recycle this after I'm done with it, and I've done my part to make sure it gets to the receptacles. What I've been doing is just throwing everything right in the regular trash because <clears throat> I want to I want to challenge the system of recycling and the and the and the the um, waste disposal system itself because clearly it's a broken system when you have our trash ending up in other countries and plastic from the UK ending up in Indonesia or Malaysia or whatever it is that's a problem so that's a broken system so the more that we put into that system it's not helping anybody. So I've stopped recycling. I made a video, and um, I, I, I always get stuff shipped here, right? I'm very reclusive. I don't leave the house unless I have to. I get stuff shipped here, and then I just I go out every now and then, but I prefer to get it shipped here. It's less of a problem, but you end up with bubble wrap and all this other stuff, you see? So I made a video that was taking this bubble wrap and putting it inside of my pillow. So I'm going to reuse that. I'm not going to put it back into the broken system of recycling. I'm going to choose to use that and not recycle it. That's my point. So all that paper that they sent, which was, oh, you're pre-approved for a credit card and all this. And I'm like, well, I don't want it. I already have. I'm, I'm taking care of in other areas. I'm good. Thank you. That package of paper is not going to do me any good. Now I'm going to hand it off to somebody else. So if it was fixed at the start of the problem, that would fix the problem, at least as much as we can. The ability that we have to change things, we should put our full ability into that, right? So even if we're recycling on our end and doing the right thing, where is it all coming from and why do we have to recycle it? Let's think about that. Why do we have to recycle so much stuff? Because there's so much stuff to recycle. That's the point. 